Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GCP with Mahesh. Today I like to share some information about GCP's Professional Cloud Architect Certification Exam. So let's get started. It's a two hour duration exam. So 120 minutes is what has been allocated to you. And you will get 50 questions which are multiple choice and multi-select options. The certification is valid for two years from the date you pass your exam. It's currently available in four languages, uh, English, Japanese, Spanish, and Portuguese. Each time when you register for the exam, you need to pay uh, $200 US for as a registration fee. And this has to be taken in person. So there's no remote uh, option. You have to go to the specific examination center uh, carried out by Criterion, which is one of the partners of Google. And you have to be in person there no negative marking meaning you can answer all the 50 questions if you are not able to get right answers do a calculated guess the most important thing is you need to register your profile in criterion and please give your full name how it has been mentioned in a uh, in an identity proof like passport or any government identity proof i like to show you something on this so this is a page where you can get more details about uh, Google Professional Cloud Architect. So if you scroll down, you'll see an option to register. Click on this, which will open up Criterion website. And if you are a first time user, you need to click on here to register. So, and you need to fill in the details here. Uh, one important thing which I would like to emphasize here is this part your name what is the name you want to be printed on the certificate whether it's only your first name or your first name with surname so please provide that details and you should take two identity proof uh, passport is a preferred one and another additional identity proof is required this is one important information the second one is uh, email address my preference is uh, to give your personal email id when you are registering it even though you are attached to an organization no worries uh, but use your personal email id because you may change your organization in two years span and if you attach it to your organizational id it will be difficult to uh, get your id so that is one important thing once you register once you take up exam all those things what next the score is the important thing uh, as such, there's no passing score. Uh, it's not mentioned in any documentation. The result is always in binary, either pass or fail. You'll get the results immediately when you submit the, the test results there. No score information is mentioned there. And the last and the most important thing is the content. The last content, last time the content was updated was on 9th of November, 2018. So what it indicates is if you are looking into any articles in any blog post, please see what is the last updated date of that blog post. If it is before 9th of November 2018, that blog post is slightly outdated. Please look for any latest blog post. So those are some of the informations which I like to share. Hope the video was helpful. Please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a specific video on GCP concept. Happy to do that. Thanks for watching.